guys, Top Pops here, and today I'm going to be opening up three pops from the Funko Shop and one from the Everett Aqua Socks. So let's get started. So this is a baseball team, guys, if you're wondering from the Everett Aqua Socks, which is in Everett, Washington, of course, right nearby the Funko HQ. And if you guys don't know, um, Funko and the Everett Aqua Socks now are kind of teamed up a bit. So I want to show you guys this in a bit. Teamed was a pun there. I wanted to use that one. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I'll show you guys that one in a minute. But then, we also have three packages here from the Funko Shop, um, which I'm really excited about opening up. We're going to start with whoop, we're going to start with these guys here. Um, since you guys probably saw what this is, we'll, we'll start with this one. Um, yeah, these are three things that I ordered and really wanted to pick up because they are really great for the collection. I mean, this one here especially, yeah, this is cool. So, this is the Pez. Um, if you guys don't know, I'm not going to mention which ones it is until we open it up. Uh, but I'm also looking into getting protectors. I'm thinking I'm going to go with Malco protectors on these. I believe they have Pez protectors that I've seen. I know Funko Pop Isle um, has helped me uh, look around. And he did mention that he got those ones from there. So we have these two here, which I'm going to be showing you guys in a second. Um, I'm really excited about this because these are two that um, I think are really neat. I'm not going to be able to get the 600-piece one anytime soon. Um, but for sure, with this Pez one, I can get Pez Girl. So here's Pez Girl Brunette, I believe, is what they put her as. Um, right there. Or Brown Hair um, is what they have it as. Brown, probably. BR is brown. Um, so there's Brown Hair right there. Um, so that one's pretty cool. I do like this one a lot. Limited to 2,000 pieces. I'm leaving it in here just so I have it nice, because they've got the top all nice. And then this one here is... Pez Girl Blonde, so I'll show you this one here as well. Both of them look great. Um, the other one I believe is her with red hair, if I'm not mistaken. I'll show you what, I, what this is too. So they, get, they put you this little piece up at the top there, so that way the top of the card um, up here stays nice. And I think that's a really great little touch that they add there. Because um, if they didn't have that, these would always come in damaged. And I mean, you don't want that when you're getting Pez, because you want to be able to either hang them up or, you know, keep them in their nice packaging. So it's cool that they make these little um, sorters and shippers and stuff like that for them. And it's probably a lot easier for them to just throw one of these each in instead of having to, like, place in nicely, like, the the Pez by itself. So anyways, there's those two right there. Actually, maybe we'll use these as a stand for the pop that we got today. So anyways, there's that so far. Let's get into this one here. So this is a package. I, I have two things here, and I'm not sure exactly which one's which, but I know what they are. Um, so let's find out what this one is. I mean, one of them is a pop, and then one of them isn't. So we really only have one pop today. I mean, minus the pop Pez from this. This is a good question. Um, I wonder, and if would you guys like to see this, would you ever like to see... Um, Pez Boy and Firefighter and Policeman and Pez Girl turned into um, Funko Pops and not just Pez because they have Pop Pez versions. But then again, for Pez they don't have head or they don't have bodies, so it would be weird, I guess. They'd have to make a body for them that wasn't a thing because you know with Pez it's only heads. So I don't know how that would work. But anyways, yeah. So this one we got here was the Pop. Now this is a spastic plastic and this is the Wolfgang variant. Now I want to show you guys this one. Um, I bought this one because it just looked too good to pass up on. Uh, what I really liked was the, um, the bowling ball on this. I thought that was a really cool touch. Let me actually pop some out of the box. I have the normal Wolfgang, but I just could not skip this one. So this is, yeah, the pink Wolfgang here. Um, and here he is. He's like fluorescent almost. Um, uh, but what I really like about him is that eyeball bowling ball. I think that looks amazing. It even looks better on camera, honestly. It looks brighter on camera. I think it looks great, in my opinion. You know, there's just so much going on with it. The nose looks great. The teeth look great. The other one, he was brown. Or, like, that grayish color. And I don't know if I like that as much. I think this Wolfgang looks even better than the other one, in my opinion. Um, yeah, but guys, look at that eyeball there. I think that's so cool. It's so creepy. Um, but it's really neat. I wish it would focus on it. Wait, there we go. And boom. There we go, guys. If you ever guys see, if you ever see me do this, I'm trying to get it to focus on my face, so that way I can then focus it on this. Anyways, there's the eyeball there. I think it looks amazing. Um, yeah, that eyeball's done really well. I, I wish they would have put it so it looked it looked like he was bowling. I mean, he's got his bowling arm to the side. He almost reminds me of the Big Lebowski, um, the way it is. I don't know why. Like just the whole bowling aspect of it. I don't know the the, the shirt and everything. I mean, they put him in a bowling shirt on purpose. Um, but then on the back here, guys, it says Wolfgang Spastic Plastic. Um, collect them all, and then, so yeah, it's got, it's really cool, it's got the bowling ball, um, striking all of them right there, I'm guessing it's a strike, um, so that's really cool, I like that one a lot, it's a really neat character in my opinion, um, all, all of the, um, 
All of the Spastic Plastic characters this year have been great, actually. I think I've gotten all of them. Every different one, anyways. Like, when it's a separate color, sometimes I don't get the different color variants. But for this one, I had to pick it up just because of how cool it was. Um, I didn't pick up Rocco Billy Purple, was it? I think the first one was green, then this one was purple, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but I have got all of the other separate ones so far this year. Uh, like TJ and uh, Big Al. And there was another one, too. Uh, TJ, Big Al... Uh, Wolfgang? Did Wolfgang go with Big Al? I think he was, if I'm not mistaken. Anyways, let's check this out. Oh, uh, Finn de Chomp was another one. Uh, but let's check out this guy right here, because I'm pretty excited about this one. So this here is not a, not a pop at all. This is just one of Funko's vinyl figures. And what I really like this is they've been doing them for Disney shorts. One that I want them to do it with is that one, I don't know what it's called, but it's that chess one where the old man's playing in the park by himself. Um, and then he, it looks like two people playing at the same time. Ooh, okay, this one looks really good. I like this one. I'm glad I got this one. So this is Piper, um, if you guys don't know. I'm gonna probably pop this one out of the box too because it's easy to take out, but I'll show you in box first. Um, so here's Piper. It's the one where the the bird is trying to catch a fish or trying to get food, but then the tide is too strong for him, so he keeps getting pushed back. Um, this was at the beginning of... I don't remember which movie, actually. One of the one of the Disney movies. If you guys know which one it is, let me know. Um, no, maybe you can find it. I'm not sure. But let's take this guy out of the box. What I like about this is that you can take it out of the box pretty easy. Um, because it is only just a pop it out there. Uh, but yeah, let me see. I don't know if I'm going to take it out of this. I'm a little worried on how I'm going to take it out. I'll just take it out of here for now. Okay. I'm not going to take it any farther than this because he is tied in a bit. Uh, but here is Piper inside of the insert right there. Very, very detailed. It looks just like um, Piper does in the short. And there's the little Kermit crab in the bottom there. I wonder if I can pop this one out, actually. Yeah, I think I can. Because this one's stuck in. I'm just afraid I'm going to break the... There we go. Okay, there we go, guys. So here is the little one here. Um, which looks amazing. If you guys haven't seen this, I recommend seeing it. I think you can find it on YouTube. Um, I'm not exactly sure, but I'm sure you can. Um, so there it is right there, the little guy. Really cool. I like how small they made him too, because it's like probably the right size compared to Piper. I mean, I think so. Let me see if I can get this back in without ruining the insert. Because I like the packaging on these. Half the time the packaging looks really great. Almost as good as the actual figure. Um... So yeah, I like to keep the packaging for these guys. This one was a little bit dented and dinged up in the back, um, but it's not horrible, of course. Um, so I just pop this right, right, right back in. What I like about this one, though, is that you can take it in and out of there if you want to. Um, some of the other ones, it's it's a bit of a struggle to put in and out, um, but this one's literally just three clamps, and you're good to go. So there he goes, guys. There's Piper right there. Very cool figure. Again, I love this thing. Um, it says on the back here, uh, Piper tells the story of a hungry sandpiper hatchling who ventures from her nest to find the first time to dig for food. Oh, uh, from her nest for the first time to dig for food by the store, by the shoreline. Sorry. It's hard to read with this. The only problem is the food is buried beneath the sand where scary waves roll up on the shore. And then it's the Disney Pixar short. It says everything like that. So that's pretty cool. Again, I really do like this one. Uh, it's a great little story, too. And it's uh, they're always fun to watch, those ones. Um, anyways, let's move on to the Everett Aqua Socks thing that I got going on over here, which I think is really cool. Um, so let's get right into it. Uh, this one here is something that as soon as I saw it, I had to order it. Um, we are trying to... We want to try to go to a game uh, when we go in August. I think that'd be really cool. Um, because they are playing on the 16th, and we're going to see if we can make it out to that game, which I think would be really fun if we could. Um, but here is the shirt here, guys. So this is the Funko Field shirt, um, right here, which has this all the way around. I hope you guys can see it. Let me take it out of the, uh, the bag here, because I'm going to wear it, so I don't really care. Um, some people like to save their shirts in bags, but I mean, if you, if you're collecting them just to collect them, I get it. But, um... If you're going to wear it, just take it out. Who cares? Um, this is a, an official Funko licensed t-shirt, which I think is really awesome as well. This was sold on the Everett Aqua Sox store, not the Funko shop, even though it's got the Funko.com and everything on there. Uh, but here it is, guys. I'll show you. Oh, it's got a backside, too. I forgot about that. Okay, so this is it here. It says Funko Field. Or it says, yeah, it says Fun yeah, Funko Field on the front, Everett, Washington. On the back, it's got 19 for, I believe, 2019. And then on the side here, it's got an F to go with the uh, Funko Field logo. Let me show you that as well. Here it is right here, guys. It's got the F to go with the Funko Field logo. I hope you guys can see that all right. There you go there. 
That's the F right there on the side. It looks really cool. It's a really high quality shirt as well. I think it was only $20 and like five bucks shipping. So it wasn't even that bad. I really do like this shirt. Let me pop it on real quick guys and see what it looks like on me. Huh, there we go guys. So this looks really good. I like this logo a lot. I think it looks great with the baseball and everything like that. Um, Great shirt, great color. I get a lot of the black Funko shirts, but I'm glad this one was a gray color, so it wasn't like all of my other Funko t-shirts, because it's funny, every logo or thing that I like with the Funko shirts, it seems to be a black shirt. Um, so I like having a gray one like this. You guys can also see the 19 on the back there as well. And I just think this is a great shirt overall. It's got the F for Funko there. You guys saw this a second ago. I like how they put the crown on top of that there too. Um, the baseball and the O looks great. I just noticed that. But anyways, that's going to do it for today. So what was your favorite thing that I picked up, guys? Was it the Pez, the Pop, the vinyl figure, or was it the t-shirt? So anyways, let me know in the comment section below. But this has been another episode of Top Pops. Popsters, thanks for watching. Bailey!